Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to do what the spirit want you to know. And this is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And these messages are for any Sagittarius. And this is what spirit wants you to know right here, right now. Thank you, Spirit. Let your will be done in this reading. I trust you in all things and all ways. Let your message come through loud and clear for all of us Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What would you like us to know? And keep in mind, y'all, these are general readings. So if it doesn't resonate for you, then the message isn't for you. But check your other signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, to get more clarity, if that if that'll help, or you can reach out to me for a private reading. I would love to do a reading for you. It would be my honor and my pleasure. Okay, so Spirit, please let your will be done in this reading. If that was flush, we're going to take it. Please bless the cutting of these cards as well, and just show us what you want us to know right here, right now. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So it looks like some kind of message could be coming in towards us. This could be the message that you're looking to get from me, but it looks like we're going to get a message. This could be an internet spy, or this could be us standing on the truth for ourselves, not taking any shorts. Sometimes people want to put their beliefs and their opinions on us. And it's up to us to stand up for ourselves and let it be known, no, I'm sorry. I don't think that way. I don't feel that way. I don't believe that way. So that could be what this is all about. But we're going to keep on flowing and going. Bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Swords. So this is about not knowing what to do in a situation just yet. You're feeling stuck, but you're not really stuck. You could be just waiting on divine intervention, some kind of intuition, some kind of discernment, or it could just be divine timing. Next card, first card out the gate, three of pentacles. So it could be some kind of new partnership about the form. If it hasn't formed yet, it could be coming in. And so this is what spirit wants you to know that some kind of new partnership or deal or some kind of connection is going to happen for you. Okay. We have bottom of the deck. We have Four of Cups, so some kind of spiritual gift or we also got message is coming in for you. Some kind of, I see this as a gift, some kind of blessing uh, that has to do with your emotions. You might be closed off in that, ready to see it right now, but this could be coming in for you and blindside you. A lot of times God got has blessings for us that we just can't see in front of us right now, but when it comes in, you'll see it. <laughs> okay, next card. Seven of Wands, so we've been having some challenges, some difficult times, but we've been meeting our challenges, our responsibilities, we're, we're handling it, so it's like we are doing what we need to do right here, right now, and Spirit's like, just keep up the good work, this is going to pay off for you. Next card, Saggy, Five of Swords, so we could be dealing with people who, you know, want to win at any cost, or indeed this could be us. No more taking shorts. We're going to go all out. <laughs> so I feel like that could be what it is that we're going all out and we won't be stopped. But then you have sometimes people who want to take you down and talk about you and fight with you. But I don't have anybody like that really around me, possibly. But all in all, I just feel like this is us standing on the truth for ourselves. Same as this page. But if this if it is someone that's causing problems, this page will stand on her square or his square and chop this one out of their lives. So sometimes, you know, people are behind our backs and we can't see them doing things they have no business doing, you know, putting, like I said, their opinions on us and their beliefs on us. But then once we can see them for who they are, we can chop them out of our lives. Okay. Ooh, bottom of the deck now, <laughs> King of Swords. So this is all about being clear, being in our power, knowing what we want, knowing what's right for us. And nobody can, you know, stop that. Nobody can stop this. Not this dude, no one. So we're very powerful. 
we're like judges. <laughs> so very clear, very sharp, and the truth is on our side. So if anybody wants to come up, they'll be coming up against this king. And so this is a great power to have. It's like the force is with you. <laughs> Next card, Saggy. Five of Pentacles. So a lot of us have been going through situations with people. Could be family members. Could be in relationships. Could be co-workers. That sort of thing where we are having problems with people. And it's been a rocky road relationship. And you've been giving everything you got to the situation. And nothing's changing. So it's up to us to make the change. And I think that's what that King of Swords is all about. And the Seven of Wands showing we're we're up to the challenge and we're willing to do what it takes. And that's what it takes to get ourselves out of this Five of Pentacles and just see like there is sanctuary, there is, you know, help above. And all we have to do is reach out and, you know, let go of people like this who are trying to take you down or don't want to see you succeed, if that's the case. Next card, Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, this is us standing up for ourselves, and this is the blessing that we get back from spirit for handling our business, staying on our square, doing what's necessary, not giving up. This is the not giving up card and handling all that's coming at us, all the challenges, and this is where that would take you. It will take you to this ace of coins, this golden opportunity, one of the best cards to get in the deck. And then we also got the six of coins. So this is all about help. It could be spiritual help where God is putting it on somebody's heart to bless us or you know, it could be a work opportunity. This is usually charity, though. So it could be some kind of gift of money or things are being right, righted, made right, like justice for us with money. Excuse me. And look at this. <laughs> we got the perfect match, the king and queen of swords. So this is all about, you know, meeting your perfect match, whether it's a friend, whether it's you feeling whole and complete, divine masculine, divine feminine. That could be too. Look what we got at the bottom now. <laughs> Two of cups. So this is perfect for them being a perfect match. That's exactly what the Two of Cups is. And looks like we're going to either meet our match and perfect one for us, the one, or you're already with them and these cards are reflecting it. But these two are very truthful and loyal and, you know, they're like judges. <laughs> All right. Next card we got hangman. So I know a lot of us might feel like this, this energy where nothing is happening. You know, we keep making effort to do a lot of different things, handling our business, but still feeling like we're stuck in a situation and not really knowing what to do, but just know this is a spiritual timeout. God has us on pause a lot of times, and we just have to be okay with that and know once we come off this pause, we this is all about reconnecting to spirit and remembering our divine connection, meditating, and, you know, talking, praying to the creator, to the divine, to our ancestors, to our guardian angels, and reminding ourselves we're not just material, we're also spiritual and reconnect today. And that's how we become illuminated and get back in our power, okay? All right, so we're going on to the next six cards, Sagittarius. We got the two of wands. So we have the power with these two wands to create the world that we want. And I think that's what we're doing. We've been handling our business with the seven of wands and this two of wands is telling you we can make you can make your world exactly what you want it to want it to be. Just use your magic, use your will, okay? And you can do it. Four of Pentacles. So this is after a time of, you know, struggling with money and security and that sort of thing. But things are going to get better for you. Just keep on flowing, okay? Next card, Four of Wands. So, yep, this is showing success. This is showing you know, victory, we did it. This is my, we did it card. And look, I said victory, you got the victory. So after a time of struggle, this will be gone. And then you'll be able to enjoy a whole new life for yourself. This is what's coming in for us, Saggy. So get ready, victoriousness and success, a new milestone. 
next card wishes do come true the nine of cups so yeah this is about to be a blessed time and spirit wants us to know this sagittarius that's the name of this you know basically uh the reading is about that what the spirit wants us to know they want us to know that our dreams are going to come true we will be victorious we will get the things that we want and need next card celebration <laughs> So things are going to be really good for us to come. We got the two of cups, nine of cups. We got the six of wands <laughs> and the four of wands. So things are going to get really good and we will be able to celebrate here shortly. We got some options to choose. So let's choose wisely for ourselves. But it looks like we will. We will be clear because we got the ace um, of coins and we got the king and queen of swords and that's clarity beyond clarity so feeling whole and complete or it could be a lover and choosing wisely wow we got the world so this is completing the cycle and god showing us how loved we are they're wrapping the whole spiritual world around us and they just want us to know everything is gonna be all right my love so get ready to enjoy this beautiful beautiful new beginning and this is wonderful look we also got the king of pentacles so this could be us going to a new stage in our money or indeed we'll be helped by a king of pentacles that could be man or woman the gender doesn't matter it's the energy of the card so blessings upon blessings with love and money and then we also got fast moving action God's spiritual uber so <laughs> i don't think we can lose y'all we got god on our side moving for us this moves means we could be moving or traveling and you know we got spiritual help alongside of this pinnacle and then we got the king of money as well so either we're going to be working with the king of pinnacles or indeed this is going to be us fast moving action we also got the two of cups for love and that's the king and queen. Wow, how beautiful. We got the four of cups, gifts coming in that we can't see yet. We got new partnership. We're creating the world that we want. Holy smokes. <laughs> yes. We're going to celebrate because we're going to get everything that we want. And this is success, a milestone. We did it. <laughs> Victory in the world <laughs> so the whole world is wrapping around us the spiritual world completing the cycle to start a new one what's that new cycle <laughs> ace of coins so very very abundant life and love and money so i think that's what spirit wants us to know and i just wanted to share that with y'all i hope this helps somebody out there thank y'all so much for your time and attention blessings blissfulness peace and love